Seven years of living with this lady. Dad's too busy running the plant station to really see what's going on here in the main house. Yesterday, she made me wait until her daughter showered and ate before me. I wish my father would see what happens here when he's gone to work. Sometimes I wish I had my father. I mean, my mother. If she were here, none of this would be happening. I want to tell him what him, but whatever I get too close, she just sends me away. I have dreams. I want to be free. Free of her rules. Free of her power. If she could feel what I feel, she would leave me alone. This is getting bad. Today she came in my room and took my clothes. Now I have to dress in the old maid's clothes. Dad's on a business trip and won't be back until next week. I hope I can keep my sanity that long. No, I'm not a slave. I'm a plantation owner's daughter. But I feel just like a slave. So tell me, how do you feel about the new location? I feel very accomplished that I've escaped slavery, you know. Ecstatic about the new future for me, but anxious about five years from now. Worried about being recaptured into slavery. And what does your surroundings look like? I'm in a relaxing atmosphere with clear skies and a cool breeze. The environment is very peaceful. Birds are always chirping, and the sun is always beaming and not a worry in the air. Freedom is reigned all over me. And the people? How do you see them? I see many of the black children playing, you know, enjoying themselves, not having to worry about slavery, not having to worry about what it's told to do. There's a sense of enjoyment in every person I meet. Many familiar faces from slavery and now enjoying freedom. I'm here to describe about my slave days and how I escaped and became free. I'm five foot nine, just like mess with my eye. I weigh 150 pounds, dark eyes, dark skin, brown eyes, muscular. Strength is running, fighting, and also riding. Ah, this is really emotional for me, you know, just thinking back of how the slave days was really emotional for me and tough and hard. Two. <clears throat> I'm a slave, born into rage. To have better days, chasing my freedom is like running in a maze. I kneel on my knees and begin to pray. I ask for forgiveness for what I've done. Nobody deserves to live like this, so a better man I become. Living a slave is no fun. I'm tired of living this way, working in the fields, keeping cotton all day. <sighs> so I begin to run. I sweat run down my face. Above me is the sun. As I think about my freedom, thinking of how to get away to my own place. As I get closer to my feet begins to constantly ache. I run towards the mountain as I look towards the hills. I think to myself, what a fascination, curious about what awaits me. So that's that so that's what the motivation was. And my pride is the foundation. Chasing my freedom I finally accomplished. Thanking the Lord for keeping his promise. So freedom I cherish. And that's it, you know. Thank you, audience, for listening to what I had to say. I want to really thank you guys for taking your time out to hear me out, you know. As a runaway slave, I made it, you know. And this is just to motivate all my black youth to stay, keep your head up, stay strong. Obama. And Obama's president, man. Straight up. Straight up. Part of the island where other people with superpowers live. She helps the slaves escape until she loses her powers. <coughs> she loses her powers because one of the slaves backstabs her because she wants her powers and steals her crystal ball. 
At the end, she gets her powers back by fighting against her. They are imprisoned and she frees them, including the one that backstabbed her. How do you feel when you see the new location? Well, I feel accomplished that I escaped slavery, upset about the new future for me, anxious about five years from now. What does your surroundings look like? Relaxing atmosphere, clear skies, cool breeze, environmental is peaceful, birds chirping, sun be beaming, not a worry in the air. Freedom reigned over me. What people do you see? Kids at play, sense of enjoyment in every person I met, a lot of familiar faces. faces. Freedom reign. Freedom reign. I finally reached the promised land. I was very anxious to get around, hoping to be a very successful man. Looking up as my feet is on the ground, curious about my future to come, still stuck in the past, wondering about what I'll become, pondering about how long it'll last. It feels, di it feels different being free, not having someone telling you what to do. Now I can relax and be me. Sitting back with a smile on my face, looking up to the blue sky. God has been real good. What if I wasn't free? I'll be wondering if I should, but it happened, and now I'm free. As a young man, I was brought up in slavery. <laughs> 3,600! I'm a slave! The outside freedom was my courage and bravery. <laughs> Too far! I can't reach it! Too far! 3,346! The better picture I painted in the attempt to sketch myself. I can't afford paint! <laughs> Mud. Mud. Dirt. Water. My master caught me and beat me until my no, master nearly fainted. No! Not again! Ah, no! Ah, ah. <laughs> Troubles on my soul had my heart tainted. <laughs> At the end, a hand someone tried to lend. I treated him like an enemy, when close to my heart, he was my friend. I had to overcome the battles within a war. A war I nearly lost my soul in. A and now I stand with freedom in my hand and pride. And from Hazel Hayes, I let liberty ring from ear to ear. Uh, ear to ear. Uh, it seems bringing me to better days. Uh, Away from pain that my heart could obtain. Uh, I got it. I got it. And now it's no one's to claim. Uh, hey, how's it going? I'm Josina. And this is the best show on earth. May I please welcome my super, super dad. <laughs> <laughs> now, before you call me your name, can I ask you a question? Uh, what happened to your baby? Uh, Are you okay? Uh, okay. Now, your name is? My name is Yibuti. Yibuti what? It's mine. My what? Yibuti is mine. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, um, how old are you? I'm 204 years old. Ladies, we have a bad choice. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Have you ever helped anybody in the island mm, Sometimes the French catch this. Oh, okay. So how exactly was living a life as a slave? Oh, it was horrible. They beat me if it wasn't warm and... Just poked me with their swords and it was very scary. Oh, that, 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 that's correct. Arr. I'm so sorry. <laughs> so, how was the pay? How was the pay? The pay was terrible. They paid me with these pieces of metal that were called gold or something. I don't know. So, they paid you with gold and you said it was terrible? <laughs> I don't know what it was. It was metal, pieces of metal. Mm, that's very true. shiny, but I didn't like it. Uh, well, um, okay. Let's not waste my time anymore. Um, go ahead and clap your hands for Mr. Yeah. 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 Yeah.